name is Simone Grant. I'm a parent of multiple children in the Olympia School District. Uh, in 2018, oh, and I'm here to talk about SROs in the school. Uh, in 2018, OSD sent out a budget survey and asked parents their funding priorities. I remember this survey. Respondents overwhelmingly wanted a large increase in security, in security in the schools. Some comments given were wanting metal detectors, active shooter training, more security at specific schools, wanting to work towards eliminating drugs and smoking at schools, character development, keeping kids safe with an SRO, school safety as a number one priority, and more security and police officers. These were direct requests from parents. Uh, even after the clear parental input wanting more security, not less, OSD canceled the entire program. When OSD sent a budget survey out for 22 and 23 school year, they omitted the security category altogether. Apparently, teachers can adequately keep our children safe, and I'm sure they want to also, uh, from school shootings, guns brought to school, threats with guns, knife attacks, assault, sexual assaults, harassment, bullying, and the huge uptick in drug overdoses at school. Now, a uh, major con new uh, major concern is that the schools aren't properly reporting uh, crime and safety issues at the schools, giving parents a skewed and inaccurate sense of safety. On January 24, 2022, a WMS student made threats to shoot his fellow classmates. Police were not called. Parents were not informed or notified. In fact, nothing was done until a student told their parents, who then called police. Police investigated and found that the vice principal at WMS said that the school had handled the incident internally. She also refused to identify the student suspect to the police. On January 30th, that would be a week later, several parents called and emailed the school in concern, and several students were sending messages that the same suspect was again planning to shoot up the school. Only, did, only then did she call the police, and only then did she and WMS make any statement to parents and the public. How many of these cases are being swept under the rug? I believe that the presence of a uniformed officer in and around a school dissuades potential violence. It's impossible to determine how many school shootings have been deterred by the presence of SROs. However, SROs can calm troubled waters. They can immediately contact subjects who are assaultive, bullying, and harassing. By having officers at the school, they become part of the community building a rapport with students and staff alike. They can also be available to children who need a safe person to share abuse or other concerns at home. OSD has already allocated the funds for this program. OEPD confirmed that they have the staff and the certification is ready. The safety of our children should be paramount. The number of school shootings has astronomically skyrocketed. Parents stay up at night, one, night wondering, not if a school shooting will happen, but when. 